The gradient theorem, also known as the fundamental theorem of calculus for line integrals, says that a line integral through a gradient field can be evaluated by evaluating the original scalar field at the endpoints of the curve. Let phi, un and gamma is any curve from p to q. Then phi q minus phi p equals gamma P Q Phi R D R Display style Vafi left Math BF Q right Vafi left Math BF P right equals int underscore gamma Math BF P Math BF Q Nabla Vafi Math BF R C D O T Mathroom D Math BF R it is a generalization of the fundamental theorem of calculus to any curve in a plane or space generally n-dimensional rather than just the real line. The gradient theorem implies that line integrals through gradient fields are path independent. In physics this theorem is one of the ways of defining a conservative force. By placing phi as potential, phi is a conservative field. Work done by conservative forces does not depend on the path followed by the object, but only the end points, as the above equation shows. The gradient theorem also has an interesting converse, any path-independent vector field can be expressed as the gradient of a scalar field. Just like the gradient theorem itself, this converse has many striking consequences and applications in both pure and applied mathematics. Topic. Proof If phi is a differentiable function from some open subset U of n to, and if R is a differentiable function from some closed interval a, b to U, then by the multivariate chain rule, the composite function phi R is differentiable on a, b and d d t phi R T equals phi r t r t display style frac mathroom d mathroom d t var phi circ math bf r t equals nabla var phi math bf r t c d o t math bf r t for all t in a b. Here the denotes the usual inner product. Now suppose the domain U of phi contains the differentiable curve gamma with endpoints P and Q, oriented in the direction from P to Q. If R parametrizes gamma for T in A, B, then the above shows that gamma phi U D U equals A B Phi R T R T D T equals A B D D T Phi R T D T equals Phi R B minus Phi R A equals Phi Q minus Phi P display style begin aligned int underscore gamma nabla var phi math BF U C D O T mathroom D math BF U and equals int underscore a carrot B nabla var phi math BF R T C D O T math BF R T mathroom D T and equals int underscore a carrot B frac D D T var phi math BF R T mathroom D T equals Vafi Math BF R B Vafi Math BF R A equals Vafi left Math BF Q right Vafi left Math BF P right end aligned where the definition of the line integral is used in the first equality, and the fundamental theorem of calculus is used in the third equality. Topic Examples <laughs> 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 
Topic Example one. Suppose gamma two is the circular arc oriented counterclockwise from five zero to minus four three. Using the definition of a line integral, gamma y d x plus x d y equals zero pi minus tan minus one three four five sin T minus five sin T plus five cos T five cos T D T equals zero pi minus tan minus one three four twenty five minus sin two T plus cos two T D T equals zero pi minus tan minus one three four twenty five cos two T D T equals twenty five two sin two T zero Pi minus tan minus one three four equals twenty five two sin two Pi minus two tan minus one three four equals minus twenty five two sin two tan minus one three four equals minus twenty five three four three four two plus one equals minus twelve Display style begin aligned in underscore gamma y mathroom d x plus x mathroom d y and equals in underscore zero carrot pi tan carrot minus one left frac three four right five sin t minus five sin t plus five cos t five cos t mathroom d t and equals in underscore zero carrot pi tan carrot minus one left frac three four right twenty Twenty five left sin carrot two T plus cos carrot two T right mathroom D T and equals in underscore zero carrot pi tan carrot minus one left frac three four right twenty five cos two T mathroom D T and equals left frac twenty five two sin two T right underscore zero carrot pi tan carrot minus one left frac three four right and equals frac twenty five two sin left two pi minus two tan carrot minus one left frac three four right right and equals frac twenty five two sin left two tan carrot minus one left frac three four right right and equals frac twenty five left frac three four right left frac three four right carrot two plus one equals minus twelve end aligned Notice all of the painstaking computations involved in directly calculating the integral. Instead, since the function f x y equals x y is differentiable on all of two, we can simply use the gradient theorem to say gamma y d x plus x d y equals gamma 
x y d x d y equals x y 5 0 minus 4 3 equals minus 4 3 minus 5 0 equals minus 12 Display style int underscore gamma y mathroom d x plus x mathroom d y equals int underscore gamma nabla x y c d o t mathroom d x mathroom d y equals x y underscore five zero carrot minus four three equals minus four c d o t three to five c d o t zero equals minus twelve Notice that either way gives the same answer, but using the latter method, most of the work is already done in the proof of the gradient theorem. Topic Example 2 For a more abstract example, suppose gamma n has n points p, q, with orientation from p to q. For u in n, let u denote the Euclidean norm of u. If alpha one is a real number, then gamma x alpha minus one x d x equals one alpha plus one gamma alpha plus one x alpha plus 1 minus 2 x d x equals 1 alpha plus 1 Gamma x alpha plus one dx equals q alpha plus one minus p alpha plus one alpha plus one display style begin aligned int underscore gamma math bf x carrot alpha minus one math bf x c d o t mathroom d math bf x and equals frac one alpha plus one int underscore gamma alpha plus one math bf x carrot alpha plus one minus two math bf x x c d o t mathroom d math b f x and equals frac one alpha plus one int underscore gamma nabla math b f x carrot alpha plus one c d o t mathroom d math b f x equals frac math b f q carrot alpha plus one math b f p carrot alpha plus one alpha plus one end aligned here the final equality follows by the gradient theorem since the function f x equals x alpha plus 1 is differentiable on n if alpha 1 if alpha however the case alpha topic minus 1 is somewhat different in this case the integrand becomes x minus 2x log x so that the final equality becomes log q minus log p Note that if n equals 1, then this example is simply a slight variant of the familiar power rule from single variable calculus. Equals Topic Example 3 Equals Suppose there are n point charges arranged in three dimensional space, and the ith point charge has charge chi and is located at position π in 3. We would like to calculate the work done on a particle of charge q as it travels from a point A to a point B in 3. Using Coulomb's law, we can easily determine that the force on the particle at position R will be F R equals K Q I equals one N Q I R minus 
P I R minus P I three Display style Math BF F Math BF R equals KQ sum underscore I equals one carrot N frac Q underscore I Math BF R Math BF P underscore I left Math BF R Math BF P underscore I right carrot three here, U denotes the Euclidean norm of the vector U in 3, and K equals 1, 4 P0, where epsilon 0 is the vacuum permittivity. Let γ3 minus P1 Pn be an arbitrary differentiable curve from A to B. Then the work done on the particle is W equals γ F R D R equals gamma k q i equals one n q i r minus p i r minus p i three D R equals K Q I equals one N Q I Gamma R minus P I R minus P I three D R Display style W equals in underscore gamma Math BF F Math BF R C D O T Math Room D Math BF R equals in underscore gamma left K Q sum underscore I equals one carrot N frac Q underscore I Math BF R Math BF P underscore I left Math BF R Math BF P underscore I right carrot three right C D O T Math Room D Math BF R equals KQ sum underscore I equals one carrot N left Q underscore I int underscore gamma frac Math BF R Math BF P underscore I left Math BF R Math BF P underscore I right carrot three C D O T Math Room D Math BF R right Now for each I direct computation shows that R Minus P I R minus P I three equals minus one R minus P I Display style frac math bf r math bf p underscore i left math bf r math bf p underscore i right carrot three equals nabla frac one left math bf r math bf p underscore i right. Thus, continuing from above and using the gradient theorem, w equals minus K Q I equals one N Q I gamma one R minus P I D R equals K Q I equals one N Q I one a minus P I minus one B minus P I 
Display style W equals KQ sum underscore I equals one carrot N left Q underscore I int underscore gamma nabla frac one left Math BF R Math BF P underscore I right C D O T Mathroom D Math BF R right equals KQ sum underscore I equals one carrot N Q underscore I left frac one left Math BF a Math BF P underscore I right Frac one left Math BF B Math BF P underscore I right right We are finished. Of course, we could have easily completed this calculation using the powerful language of electrostatic potential or electrostatic potential energy with the familiar formulas W topic minus delta U Minus Q delta V. However, we have not yet defined potential or potential energy, because the converse of the gradient theorem is required to prove that these are well-defined, differentiable functions and that these formulas hold see below. Thus, we have solved this problem using only Coulomb's law, the definition of work, and the gradient theorem. Topic. Converse of the gradient theorem The gradient theorem states that if the vector field f is the gradient of some scalar-valued function i.e., if f is conservative, then f is a path-independent vector field i.e., the integral of f over some piecewise differentiable curve is dependent only on endpoints. This theorem has a powerful converse. If f is a path-independent vector field, then f is the gradient of some scalar-valued function. It is straightforward to show that a vector field is path independent if and only if the integral of the vector field over every closed loop in its domain is zero. Thus the converse can alternatively be stated as follows, if the integral of f over every closed loop in the domain of f is zero, then f is the gradient of some scalar-valued function. <laughs> Topic. Example of the converse principle. To illustrate the power of this converse principle, we cite an example that has significant physical consequences. In classical electromagnetism, the electric force is a path-independent force, i.e. the work done on a particle that has returned to its original position within an electric field is zero assuming that no changing magnetic fields are present. Therefore, the above theorem implies that the electric force field Φ, S3 is conservative here S is some open, path-connected subset of 3 that contains a charge distribution. Following the ideas of the above proof, we can set some reference pointer in S, and define a function U, S by U E R equals minus gamma A R F E U D U Display style U underscore E Math BF R equals int underscore gamma Math BF a Math BF R Math BF F underscore E Math BF U C D O T Mathroom D Math BF U Using the above proof, we know U is well defined and differentiable, and Fe. Topic minus u. From this formula, we can use the gradient theorem to easily derive the well-known formula for calculating work done by conservative forces, W. Minus delta u. This function u is often referred to as the electrostatic potential energy of the system of charges in S, with reference to the zero of potential A. In many cases, the domain S is assumed to be unbounded and the reference point A is taken to be infinity, which can be made rigorous using limiting techniques. This function U is an indispensable tool used in the analysis of many physical systems. <laughs> <laughs> Generalizations 
Many of the critical theorems of vector calculus generalize elegantly to statements about the integration of differential forms on manifolds. In the language of differential forms and exterior derivatives, the gradient theorem states that gamma phi equals gamma d phi display style int underscore partial gamma phi equals int underscore gamma mathroom d phi for any zero form phi defined on some differentiable curve gamma n here the integral of phi over the boundary of the gamma is understood to be the evaluation of phi at the endpoints of gamma Notice the striking similarity between this statement and the generalized version of Stokes' theorem, which says that the integral of any compactly supported differential form ω over the boundary of some orientable manifold ω is equal to the integral of its exterior derivative d ω over the whole of ω, i.e. ω ω equals ω d ω Display style int underscore partial omega omega equals int underscore omega mathroom d omega. This powerful statement is a generalization of the gradient theorem from one forms defined on one-dimensional manifolds to differential forms defined on manifolds of arbitrary dimension. The converse statement of the gradient theorem also has a powerful generalization in terms of differential forms on manifolds. In particular, suppose omega is a form defined on a contractible domain, and the integral of omega over any closed manifold is zero. Then there exists a form psi such that omega equals d psi. Thus, on a contractible domain, every closed form is exact. This result is summarized by the Poincaré lemma. Equals. <laughs> Topic. See also. equals state function scalar potential jordan curve theorem differential of a function classical mechanics line integral section path independence conservative vector field section path independence